interesting and also how we create a science behind. That is my point. I'm going to touch upon some of the topic. And I think the present conference is to present this typhoid conjugate vaccine. The world's first typhoid conjugate vaccine pre-qualified by WHO. The reason it is important because we create the standards, we create the global uh, quality control issues because nobody knows what this product is. We create the global standards and all the methods required for testing this vaccine. Now our vaccine will be used as a benchmark for all other vaccines in the world. This is burden. You see that India, Pakistan, probably the highest in the world. As we speak, I think every alternate person is one way or other infected with the typhoid. We go with the doctor that we are fever. Only two possibilities, either typhoid or second is viral. The doctor doesn't want to take a risk. He gives an antibiotic, two or three antibiotics. Drugs are so cheap in India and they prescribe and that leads into bigger problem and I'm going to touch upon that. But addition treatment, I don't want to touch upon. It looks hospitalization costs only 48,000 rupees in India. I think it's a old statistics given by the government of India but I pessimistically, I will not agree on this. It may be a 4.8 lakhs or 5 lakhs minimum for our patient today in the hospital bills. The patient is uh, costing about $5,000 globally on average. And uh, the countrywide India alone, 4,300 crores is old statistics. But still, we don't have good epidemiological data in this country, unfortunately. And, uh, and you, you know the, what is the problem with the typhoid? Everybody thinks it's very easy. Oh, you'll get antibiotic treatment easy and all that. But important is the employees, workers, laborers, entrepreneurs, food handlers, hospital personnel and minimum wages. I consider poor people in the village. A person who gets a typhoid, almost one month he cannot go for a work and 30 days he lost his job and his livelihood. And that's more important for the rural angle. And uh, loss of attendance for students and uh, teachers and exams and mother's health, child health, all these things can impact. And it doesn't discriminate whether child or adult, all of them are imp impacted. And typhoid fever, now another major problem is the multi-drug resistance. And already there is a lot of controversy about Hyderabad drugs companies are polluting anything and multi-drug resistance and all that. But uh, to be frank with you, India is a major hub for the multi-drug resistance. And uh, it is a three out of first line of all antibiotics. Right now, the, particularly the, uh, the chloramphenicol, ampicillin, the three antibiotics are used commonly. All three, it, now the bacteria has become resistant to all three antibiotics. There's nothing is left. And I'll touch upon the Africa, third generation cephalosporin. There even to this in Pakistan have been reported very severe incidents of typhoid because they're not responding to cephalosporin also. The last line of drug. And now new strain called H58, multi-drug resistance, is uh, spreading now. New strain coming out. But I can tell you one place in uh, here, Ireland. If the government admits that they have 17% incidence, that no tourism travel will happen. Tourism will be affected. The country is dependent on the tourism and the total tourism will be destroyed. Because of that, they are not responding and it is one of the patient was came from Delhi and he carried H58 multi-drug strain and he went to the Thailand. Now that person is spreading the disease. Uh, this is resident in uh, Pakistan, is a very big attention in uh, Hyderabad. It's called City Hyderabad uh, near Karachi. And they have found uh, about more than 20, uh, 250 children died and because they are not responding to any antibiotic, any antibiotic, including cephalosporin. And it's a big severe uh, incidence. And uh, they requested Aga Khan University requested us whether we can give some sample and via vaccine. We gave 50,000 doses free to Aga Khan University. They are buying 300,000, 3 lakh doses at a cost price from us. So they are going to vaccinate to the entire villages of the Hyderabad town of Karachi and vaccinate the Africa uh, for the Pakistan border. And we started in 2001 this vaccine research and typhoid conjugate. And we, come, we got licensed in 2013. And so it took almost uh, 12 to 13 years as a journey for us. Next. And so people, please remember that one thing. We've done a various clinical trial. I don't want to go too much story on this. We have done more than 15,000 children and adults clinical trial. That shows how expensive and how uh, rigorous treatment we have done. 15,000 people a clinical trial in various spaces, including measles interference, public health program, how to interfere, cross reaction, all those things. We have done quite a bit of research. And what happened is, to our bad luck, about three, four years back, five years back, five, five six years back, the Novart is published a paper. They used a five microgram dose and the clinical trial failed. So the question came in, whether Indian uh, vaccine can be trusted, whether it is really right, whether it will be effective or not. Sort of questionable marking started. The Novart is failed. Novart is multinational failed. Then how can Indian company can? So our trick was next one. Our trick was very simple. We've done a 15 microgram, 25 microgram, single dose, two dose vaccine. We tried that and we found 25 microgram was very good and one dose is enough. 
this 50 microgram two doses is equal to this almost statistically significant same equivalent we said single dose is enough 25 microgram is enough we concentration dependent we position the product at 25 microgram and then we published the paper in a clinical infection disease in the, one of the top very top ranked science impact factor and then what we did is there was a question the really this vaccine will work on human challenge study gate foundation funded to andrew pollard you know oxford university and there the 112 people have been volunteer students and other nurses have been uh, given payment they have given $4000 and just imagine how many people will take a uh, oral typhoid bacteria drink it in the water so that's a challenge study and so this is a most like confirmative trial so you it came in new york times it appeared in new york times where they said they swallowed live typhoid bacteria out on purpose and uh, you british also covered trial data suggest new typhoid shot could have infection rate down and uh, these are the real picture of the new york times and uh, produced uh, the world and bbc also in the front page they covered that this uh, 9 out of 10 cases can be protected from the typhoid and it shown that 89 90% protection 100% protection coming next one and this is important in a trial usually in a symptomatically in typhoid you'll have three important symptoms one headache second is fever at 38 uh, degrees temperature continuously 38 degrees and abdominal pain three symptoms are major symptom for typhoid if you protect three symptoms then is the best vaccine so our vaccine typhoid conjugate vaccine shown not even one got these symptoms of these three not even one got say, i mean almost 100% protection with the human challenge studies data so it protected 100% all three symptomatic whereas control you see 14 people got the symptom and uh, typhoid or old typhoid vaccine eight people got uh, symptoms of these three so it's not effective not even 50% of effective with the old generation typhoid because our typhoid conjugate vaccine shown not even single one got the uh, three symptoms and the sage is the one is a super body over the who is a scientific advisory group of experts about 20 25 experts global experts in the world on typhoid they select and they review all our clinical data based on our clinical because the first new vaccine this one so nobody has done a vaccine in the international community so the sage goes through all our data based on our data they are recommended now infants between 6 and 23 months of age can be given and children between 2 and 15 years of age also can be given adults also can be given and it's really good for multi drug resistance sage is uh, one recommends to who and then who recommends afterwards so super body is a sage and then global alliance vaccine initiative the gavi board recently sanctioned 85 million dollars for only for typhoid conjugate project and uh, to supply typhoid conjugate vaccine in gavi supported countries india is not part of the gavi supported but uh, other countries are gavi supported like pakistan bangladesh nepal all those things. and the gavi chairman who is uh, uh, was a finance minister earlier in nigeria she is now gavi board chair she herself said in the experience one of my colleague uh, sai prasad is in the gavi and uh, he she lost almost her son due to typhoid and her cousin lost life because of typhoid and she said this vaccine to be a life saver for millions of children this is a statement on our on our wax and seth burke is the ceo of gavi he said not only could this vaccine save lives but it also saves the weapon to fight against antimicrobial resistance and this most important antimicrobial resistance and he is one of the best uh, bacteriologists from harvard and now we have a three lab a trilateral partnership get foundation path and university of maryland as uh, so in the uh, us and how do we do this level what we are going is now is the, how do we do the effectiveness studies efficacy trial is difficult to do in india because there's so much of drug abuse multi drug uh, multi drug resistance and also drug abuse so much of uh, multi drug resistance and other thing drug abuse so it's difficult to do the efficacy trial so we are doing an efficacy effectiveness studies and get foundation gave 36.9 million dollars tyvac committee the tyvac is university of maryland and uh, oxford uh, bon, uh, dr bon who is a you all know it dr the former secretary department he said typhoid tc be a powerful weapon against high burden of typhoid in children and anita zaidi she heads the entire uh, enteric viruses pro, enteric bacteria program and diarrheal program in uh, get foundation anita zaidi she is originally from pakistan and she heads the entire uh, this thing and she said with this new vaccine the first ever to be useful for preventing typhoid in children that's important and this is the product and now as we speak the uh, the who is now releasing the press release right now uh, pre qualifies breakthrough vaccine for typhoid thank you sir thank you very much Thank you.